Converting an integer to a float in Python is a straightforward process. The built-in float function is used to perform this conversion. What is an integer and a float? Integer a whole number without a fractional component, e.g. 5, 3, 42. Float a number that has a decimal point, e.g. 3.14, 0 0.1, 2.0. Why convert integer to float? Precision floats can represent fractional values, which is essential in many calculations like division. Mathematical operations, some operations may yield float point results, so converting to float ensures accuracy. How to convert integer to float? You can convert an integer to a float using the float function. Here's the syntax Python float value float integer value code example Python example of converting an integer to float. Step 1 define an integer variable integer value 10. Step 2 convert the integer to float float value float integer value. Step 3 print the results print integer value integer value output integer value 10 print float value float value output float value 10.0 additional examples 1 converting negative integers python negative integer 5 negative float float negative integer print negative integer negative integer output negative integer 5 print negative float negative float output negative float 5.0 2 Converting large integers, Python large integer 1 million large float float large integer print large integer. Large integer output large integer 1 million print large float. Large float output large float 1 million point zero. 3. Using float in calculations, Python a 5 b 2 integer division result integer division of this will give a float result print integer division result. Result integer division output 2.5 converting one of the operands to float result float conversion float of a print float conversion result. Result float conversion output 2.5 conclusion converting integers to float. Ocean Python is as simple as using the float function. This conversion is often necessary for mathematical operations requiring precision. In practice, Python handles type conversion automatically in many situations, but it's always good to be explicit about the types you are working with to avoid unexpected results.